Welcome back, Clubhouse episode three. Uh, we've got a special show for you tonight. We talk about Xavier Coates' miracle winning try. Uh, we also talk about Paps' new hobbies, kayaking and PlayStation down in Black Rock. And we also got an awesome Clubhouse leader of the week for you. Let's get into it. This episode is brought to you by Rex. Eyewear that inspires confidence. Carefully crafted sunglasses, prescription and blue light eyewear that's made to last. Use the code CLUBHOUSE to get 20% off site-wide. Head over to rickseyewear.com.au and shop all available styles now. Alrighty, let's get into the show. Welcome back, episode three of the Clubhouse. Uh, man, before we even jump into anything, Seems like you've taken the uh, icebreaker from li- last week quite literal. Under that hat, uh, do you want to reveal to everyone what's going on there? <laughs> Rapping <laughs> <laughs> I went to the barber and asked for the Dusty Martins. The, the, and they gave, and the, the, John uh, Cena. They gave me the John Cena. A talent show? They call me Colonel now, boys. Colonel Munster. <laughs> I asked for the buzz cut. <laughs> I, I, I should have got it faded up at the sides, but I, I thought he would have done it, but he didn't. He just buzzed me all over. So nah, I like the rugged man. Yeah, no, nah, it's good. The rugged man looks Until good. I get back into playing TV footy, um, that's what it's going to be looking like for the moment. <laughs> true, true, true. What's been happening, Husey? Nah, not much, mate. Um, obviously come off a good win um, on the weekend. Boys had a, bit, a couple of days off and uh, had a day off today. She went and hit, hit the ball around. Um, oh, you but go? didn't play very well, to be honest. Woodlands, was it? Woodlands, yep. Shout out to Timmy Wise for getting us on there. And Timmy. I hit a massive 22 points wow. off 18 handicaps. So. Tough track, Woodlands. It is Good a tough track. Good condition at the moment, too. Oh, right it's lovely. Carpet. Yeah. It's like you, carpet. What let you down? Uh, everything. It, it's, Woodlands is it's pretty thin. It's a bit mm. of a tease course, yeah. I reckon. It's really thin and there's a cyclone outside at the moment. <laughs> so if you live in Melbourne, you, you should know there's a cyclone out there at the moment and <laughs> I was just going every every way into the bush. So. It doesn't work with the big fade, does it? Nah. Not you can either course. hit the ball straight or you're you're no good. So oh, well, disappointing. Who did you play with? Uh, Christian Welch, our good mate Christian Welch and Aaron Wilkins. So a bit of a pro and, and then uh, semi-pro with Welchie, so... He, he hit 29 points, so I'm going to give him his – it's still pretty shit, but I'll, he done better than me, so I yeah. can't really – I've been giving him giving him shit a lot about his golf, but I can't today. I'm, I've just got to take it on the chin that I'm cut it is, today. It is true. It's gale force winds out there at the moment, so yeah. we'll let you get away with 22 points. Thank but um, <laughs> Welch is 29. I don't know. Did he pull his driver out today? Not once. He, he actually started out. with the two iron two and <laughs> just didn't go away from it. Yeah, the, he actually did it once, now that I think about it. He really? didn't bring his – Take his driver out once. He yeah, he stayed solid with it. You can't play golf if it's a par four, par five. You can't. You got to use an a uh, driver. You can't use yeah. an iron. I just don't get it. Like we're not on the tour. Like, no, exactly. Yeah. Did you have some fun? Eh? He's, yeah. he's, he doesn't find any fun in it. He's all just strictly business. So. Boring. And did um Boston play today? Did they is that why you got the jersey on? Did they have a win? Yeah, they had a win. Did they? Uh, I always follow them. You know me. <laughs> so ever since Tatum come down to Melbourne, I've been a massive <laughs> fan. So since my Wizzies are going no good, I've had to jump. Um, jump onto the, the Boston. Tatum Boston. didn't play today, but um, yeah. Derek White put up a lot of, a lot yeah. of the numbers. First triple double, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Who'd they play? Uh, they played Derek um, White triple double. He did, yeah. yeah he had Fuck. twenty points or something. Pistons, Pistons, Pistons right. blew him out. Yeah, right. Yeah, he, he was um, he was pretty good today. Porzingis played. Um, mm. I, actually, you know, he's been putting up with some good numbers. Uh, what's his name? Jalen Brown. Yeah, oh, he's, yeah. been going he's been good. Going he did get paid too, so he well, should be. He's um, been putting up some some big numbers like this. Bag at the moment. Um, Paps kayaking. Talk to me. Mm. Got a, a new house career. down down those ways. Yeah, Black um, Rock. I'm pretty sure Black it is. Rock. Black Rock. Won't say exactly the address. Yeah, don't say the street. People but, out there, uh, but so now you've become. I'm a, I'm a, a kayaker a, now. Yeah, my kayaking career started. So okay, when I bought one from uh, Anaconda. Uh, mm. Nice little hybrid one, so you can like fish off it, or you can yeah. just like go out there and paddle. But uh, yeah, what well, it's just it's so fun. I don't think I realized how fun. It I is. sort of bought it and I was like, I'll use it. But yeah. I think after using it the first time, I was like, this is actually like, where this did, is quality. Where did the inspiration come from? Uh, just seeing so many people do it out there. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. like had a bit of FOMO. I was like, the beach gets real busy, so I was like, if I can just get a kayak. You just bowl people out, out the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> cruise out there. But it was so good. Like we went out to the shipwreck in Black Rock. Um, I bought a stand up paddleboard as well. So like, so you go yeah. pretty deep. 
So you go pretty far out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how you do it, man. I, I, sh- I shit myself being out the, no, out the water. It's a kite, See, though. Mate, cra- sharks can knock that off easy. No, yeah, but there's no sharks but There's no sharks in Melbourne. That's a great thing. There yeah. is sharks, man. Yeah, there's, there's like sharks everywhere. Whalers. There's not like, there's not great whites great or whites, yeah. bull sharks. Or like, in Sydney, they I'm not buying it. a kayak. In Queensland, I'm not buying a kayak. But in Melbourne... Yeah. You're in the bay, you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> the water was see-through. I went and bought a snorkeling kit today. I'm just I'm going all out. You're going to water. I'm a I'm a bayside boy now. So oh, Jesus. kayaking career and also my um FIFA Pro Clubs career. Just oh, you're off. back on the FIFA, aren't you? Yeah, so yeah, anyone yeah, on my yeah. socials, I I don't know, I didn't get the reaction I thought I would, but like I'm actually shit at it. So like for me to score that goal. I think you can hear the boys' reaction. <laughs> it's like this like utter disbelief. But I'd updated my long shot, so yeah. it's all part of it. Um, and I got a new obsession as well, being down that way. What is it? A side bowls. Yeah, see, you're <laughs> so good. Total... I've changed. You've gone from like iced lattes, decaf, and now you're yeah, going yeah, into no, side bowls. And I thought, like, I only found out today they're not that actually, they're not that healthy. So, <laughs> so you're going to jump back off them? I've got to jump back off them, but. Yeah, it's something well, that I've been doing. You're looking thick, mate. You're looking good. Yeah, looking thick. I wouldn't be changing what you're doing at the, the moment. You've been going well. Yeah, well, I looked, you know, I was like, yeah, there's plenty of fiber in a side bowls, and then it goes down the bottom. It's like high in sugar. I was like, mm. yeah, mm. that's okay. not so not bad. Good. Not but bad. no, Bayside Boy now, so yeah. And the man you So team. golf is gone now. No more golf, this FIFA. No, we'll go. Canoeing. Yeah. There's so many golf courses here. Like, yeah, he didn't pay his tolls today. He's yeah. down my way. That's 10 minutes from my house. Woodlands. Yeah, I drove Woodlands. But no, I just, I didn't play today because I just, I don't know. It just felt like one o'clock start. Some of the boys are playing at national. Yeah. So it's a bit too late. You know, we had the podcast. We've got priorities, boys. Mm-hmm. So you're not. The win will be. You obviously remember at Q, but now you're not there anymore. Hughesy lives in Q. Yeah. Any chance of a discount and giving it so I can play with someone? Nah, yeah, but it doesn't work like that. I can't, I I can't take anyone for six discount. months. It doesn't work like that, though. I can't take anyone for six months. You don't live there anymore. So yeah. now I've got to wait six months. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't. It's different at Q, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'll still make the journey up. They're yeah. good subs at Q. Yeah. 18 months waiting list I'm not giving that away Nah yeah You've waited long enough You might have to keep it But no I'm keeping my golf on I got my Man United top on I obviously beat Liverpool The other day yeah. FA Cup Big game Didn't watch the game It was at 2.30 But I look at the highlights yeah. pretty but You had your yeah. jersey on that morning I had my jersey on that morning Because Liam checked, Must have checked the scores And then went to Rebel quickly Ooh. And bought one <laughs> Yeah I'm <really> young. <laughs> <laughs> No I went to um, I actually woke up To a message from Liam Like our physio Yeah Because he, he's a Liverpool, a Liverpool fan, fan eh? like Yeah, Staunch And he was like He's like, you fucker or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and straight away I knew like we'd won. won yeah. Um, yeah, there's been a bit going on. So it's Crazy though because Liverpool up 3-2 in overtime and then they lost 4-3. Yeah, they scored two yeah. goals. They scored two goals. Two in goals late. In the last 33 seconds or something. Yeah. And the guy who took his shirt off was celebrated. Yeah. Got a red card because it was his. <laughs> yeah, it didn't matter. You won anyway. So. <laughs> um, no, there's been a bit happening. So that's been good. Mm. Oh, that was a pretty big opener actually. We probably should jump into the ice. Actual yeah. icebreaker yeah, now. Let's go. Ice, ice. All right. Here we go. Uh, this week's icebreaker. Would you rather get free plane tickets or free accommodation for the rest of your life? I'm going to go accommodation. Why? Because I feel like you can still get pretty cheap flights um, around. Like you can go Bonzo, you can go Jetstar, you can still get pretty cheap flights. And I feel like accommodation ain't getting cheap around the world. Mm. And I feel like if I can go anywhere around the world and get free accommodation wherever I want, I can. I, I'm happy to pay a little bit of money for flights. <laughs> okay. And then you can sometimes go economy, go to the obviously the airport at, on the day and try and get an upgrade for fifty to hundred bucks. <laughs> to buy the metro. First class. Yeah, yeah first class. Yeah. Time. No, I just think that's my my mindset. Everyone's different, but I'm gonna go accommodation. I'm I'm going the other way. Ooh. I'm going plane tickets. Righto. Because plane tickets it can be expensive. You go on the other side of the world. You can have as many plane tickets as you want too, so you can just travel all the time. Can book it last minute. Yeah, just I reckon yeah. it's more convenient. And to be fair, I I could sleep in any a com. Like I could buy a cheaper com. Like maybe not backpackers, but <laughs> I could go somewhere where it's just like a one bedroom. You know what I mean? I can say I don't need a nice accommodation. It'll be yeah. a cheap accommodation if I have to. Yeah, With the plane so, tickets. You're though, probably you freaking flyers. You still can get plane. Yeah, but like a core memberships. You know, like you can use the yeah, membership yeah. from a hotel stays to, like. Yeah, you could do mm-hmm. like a, say, or whatever flights you got, frequent flyers. You can book accommodation with those, yeah. can't you, sometimes? Yeah, but then I think you can do, I don't know if you can do the other opposite, like book with your hotel points. And then get, I get don't flights. think you can. I don't think you can. I was leaning towards hot, uh, hotels, but I reckon you've. Hang on. You've Yeah, you've converted me over. I like the last minute thing. I like to stay in nice places, but I'm also like, 
I don't know. Like you can they just use canoes, yeah. in the little. <laughs> they won't have canoes the or, or they'd overlook in the water and stuff. So you yeah, would be, 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 be the highest. <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. I'll probably just. I don't. I could sleep anywhere. So yeah, I'm I'll gonna f- go plane. Yeah, well done, Hughes. You good? You could probably sell that. I reckon. Mm. Plane tickets. It is. Mm. And we've got a new segment this week as well. Uh, it is the listeners' question of the week. Mm. Uh, this will be this will get very interesting. Plenty of comments. Um, I'm sure after this podcast and the questions. But the first one, nice simple one, uh, will be. Well, it's from Corbin Moroni. So thank you for the question. It is what is your favourite ground to play at outside of Amy and why? Um, I'm gonna have to say Suncorp. Mm. Like Suncorp's, I don't know why. Every time we go play Suncorp, it's just like I feel like the atmosphere is always pretty good, and they always have a massive crowd, and it just feels like they're all just on top of you. So I'm gonna have to say Suncorp, and like probably be different for Origin, but Origin looks like a whole new level yeah. if you play Origin at Suncorp. Like I don't know what yours would be, but <laughs> I reckon I know what mine is. So. Oh, you you know what? Play my Suncorp. You guys have both played at like Wembley and stuff. Have you played? Uh, you played at Wembley? Yeah. 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 Uh, Old, Trafford? Old Trafford? Old Trafford, yeah. Old yeah, Trafford? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I played off Trafford, yeah. Um, yeah, well, mate, it was it was busy. I reckon, it, like, no disrespect to Samoa, but I reckon if we played against England, yeah, it would have been huge because it being a home crowd from England. Yeah, mm. okay. Um, but, I, like, it was still a great atmosphere playing at, um, at well, obviously, tra- Old Trafford. Um, seeing a lot of greats of uh, soccer play there, so... Mm. It'd be up there, but um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Old Trafford now. After yeah. hearing that, yeah, I forgot about playing. I was gonna there. say you, you would have played both. You would have played some like crazy, yeah, overseas, overseas yeah, games. Yeah. Yeah. You, did you play in the states one year? Nah, yeah. nah, nah. I didn't play that game. Nah, uh, nah. <coughs> yeah, so yeah. We played a few games over there. It was pretty crazy. Old playing. Trafford would yeah. yeah. look pretty good. Tight in goals and stuff. Yeah, like very, very tight in goals. Um, mate, there was a lot of a lot of atmosphere. Um, surprisingly, a lot of um, pommies were going for Salmore, which is I can't understand them. Um, <laughs> And, but yeah, no, it was good. It was, um, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I actually forgot about that, Husey. Thanks for reminding me. I feel like the stadium's echo over there, eh? Yeah. More. I don't know why. Like, must be something in their it's, stadium, but it just crazy. echoes more. It dips. You know how the soccer fields dip down the bottom? Like, like you, at the ends of the field? Yeah. yeah. And they, like, people would slide down them and that? Yeah. It was pretty crazy some of the time. Some of the boys were going for tries and stuff. Like, it, was, yeah. it looked like a pretty injury prone kind of uh, stadium, <laughs> but and I was lucky enough to play there, yeah. Yourself, yeah, that's sick. Uh, I'm probably same as you. I'm Suncorp too. I think it's just there's something about it. I think, um, yeah, I don't know, just how close everyone is to you. It's always a massive crowd, yeah. and yeah, the energy there is pretty high. So it's obviously one of rugby league's heartlands. So mm, I guess too. Up there, yeah. So. so good question, Corbin. Um, and if you do want to enter a question for next week, simply head to Spotify and write your question out. Um, Whatever you want to get asked in the podcast, uh, Tommy will go through and pick one out for us. But yeah, we will give you a shout out and uh, it'll be good answering those questions. So head to Spotify, type in your question and we'll get that done. So Corbin, well done. First mm. question of the week. Great question. All right, lads. Now we get to the exciting part. Um, could have easily not been as in a happy mood this week, but <laughs> massive game on Saturday night and huge result. So yeah, Husey, I don't know where to start, but... <laughs> what a game, man! <laughs> yeah, it was such a game of two halves. I guess like Literally. we were we were going really well in that first half, and um, you know felt like we had the game in control. And then in that second half, the Warriors just played some outstanding footy and just pinned us in our corner. And you know we we were just struggling to get out of our own half, and then they were just rolling. So um, put a couple of tries on us, and then got up late. And I think it was only what under. Three minutes to go, and we had to score mm. two tries. And fortunately, we you know got one through you, and then um, you know X just done some crazy stuff. Um, you know, it's actually quite freakish what he done, oh. to be honest. Like oh, yeah. even that in like a normal game, or like just scoring in the middle of the game, but to be the try yeah. that won the game and to do that is sort of crazy. But to be fair, like we see him practicing that every day at yeah. training, and it's sort of like. You sort of, it's still crazy because he actually done it in a game, but you see him do that practicing it every week. So it's sort of like, oh, yeah, he's going to pull it out eventually. But to be able to do it in a game at a high pressure stage of the game, crazy. Big ups to him. Yeah. yeah. Crazy scenes. It's hard to sum it up in words. You're like, I remember getting asked after the game, it's like, 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like he, he practices it like it's mm. amazing, but I can't quite comprehend yeah, how he how did actually it. did it. So yeah, well, um, I'm not stunned or shocked by him doing that. Yeah. Like he seemed like he spoke about doing it training, but he just got that like that leap or that um, X factor X factor of being able to bounce. <laughs> and he got that leap. So yeah. I'd, I'd be more blown away if it was someone like um, like a Remus or yeah. or like um, like you know like all Husey with his bad back, <laughs> yeah. you know, like someone like that, like someone that's out of the ordinary that shouldn't yeah. be doing that, you know. Yeah. But with X, you just see how like how bouncy he is and how like he, how elastic he is in his muscles, and it's just crazy how he does it at training. But then yeah, like Husey spoke about to do it in that little pressure moment. Oh, belly ache in the box was grabbing everyone, going, "You fucking beauty." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he actually could celebrate this one this week because yeah, the yeah. game was done. But I. I was going to touch on that, man. Like, well, obviously, sorry. we hopefully, hopefully out of that box soon. But um, you've had two pretty intense games up there to start off the season. So how was that? <laughs> how was he when when X scored? Like, obviously, that second half he would have been blowing steam the whole second half because we were going <laughs> so terrible. But how was he when X scored? Did he believe? I feel like he's a glass half. Half uh, empty kind of guy, so he would have thought of no try. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, knock on, knock on. He would have dropped that. Oh, fucking, <laughs> fucking. He's, he's out. Fuck. No one celebrate. What was he like up there? Oh mate, it was um, it was actually hilarious because um, when obviously X scored and he's like, "Is it a try? Is it a try?" And he's paced out the back and I said. <laughs> Mate, I think it might be simultaneous with his hand. He goes, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, what does that mean, Munster? <laughs> I said, mate, it means uh, it, could be, it could be 50-50. It could be him with, the, with his hand on the ground and the ball hitting the line at the same time. Oh, fucking don't tell me that. Because <laughs> like, he gets like Azra oh. and Noli to go back before they show yeah, it on the yeah. oh, like, crossover. So you would have known before it actually come. Like who was the one in the box who actually confirmed that it was a try? Uh, uh, it would have been it would have been Nolly. Yeah, Nolly, 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 Nolly yeah, Nolly. Then and then uh, Aaron went and told Belly, like, like obviously he said, oh, it's a try. He still try. wouldn't have believed it yeah, until yeah, like yeah. the ref yeah, went blown, blown, blown it, though, I reckon. Yeah, so, but before that, oh, yeah, we'll um, <laughs> leave it at that. Because <laughs> Jonesy was up in the box as well, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah Jonesy goes to me at halftime, first and last fucking time I come in here. <laughs> <laughs> Jonesy's our. Oh, he was a physio. How long has he been there? Ten years. Nine, nine, uh, nine years and four months. Nine years and yeah. four months. So he was our head physio for a long time, and he's obviously got a job at Chelsea yeah. Football Club yeah. in the EPL. So Congratulations, Jonesy. It was his last game, and I think his number one wish was to go sit up in the box for a game. Yeah. So and talk to him after the game. He said he wished he never went up there. Now. <laughs> <laughs> he always wanted to go up there, and then once he's done, he goes, "Fuck, I'd never do that again." That's, oh. that's not worth it. You boys have done really well to um, to win for obviously not only Belag but Jonesy as well. Mm. Otherwise, I think Belag would have needed the new pay, uh, pacemaker. So yeah, <laughs> pretty special game. Obviously, the McMore Trophy as well. Mm. Yeah, um, that we won. Um, it was good to win for him. We had actually there's a few things to win for means um, on the weekend. Means fifty games for the Storm. Obviously, Jonesy been a big part of our our club the last six seven years, um, and then the McMore Trophy. So. Uh, we play for that every time we play the Warriors. Um, so it was good to get that back. Good to have his family there too, um, G Trace and all the all the fans, and to see how happy they were. They, yeah, they, they, apparently they were. Um, they didn't see the last try. They started walking down oh. under, and then apparently they were starting to walk up the tunnel. And they like they just heard everyone screaming and cheering, and they like ran up and seen it was a try. I wonder if anyone left early. Oh, Bro, oh, of course. Three, three three minutes. Minutes. If anyone knows anyone who left early, please let us know. Because yeah. like, it's one of those moments where, like, you should probably do it when you walk out of the dogs game early. But, like, <laughs> I'll stay for the North Melbourne game. <laughs> no, we, stay, through. <laughs> we went down to the shed after <laughs> yeah. the game. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, went down we sheds. went down, rain, hail, or shine, mate. We go down there and see how the boys oh, pick them up. Boys. Unlucky but um, this on that, too. I can confirm, Belek was reckons he was ready to grab his car keys at halftime <laughs> and, and use up eight points. <laughs> no. Yeah, he yeah, was ready to go with his car keys. But on another note, Pappy, two trials in the weekend, mate. Talk me through <laughs> it. Mm. Try to get away with it, mate. No, nah, just I just, just couple of little cherry picked again. Little, yeah. uh, little, uh, actually, funny enough, I spoke to a guy that played back row for the Warriors on the weekend, and um, he felt like he couldn't do anything else to stop that try. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, yeah, no, nah, was... he reckons he reckons it was so hard to defend, and um, I won't obviously say the name of the play, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure too fast. Yeah. yeah, he's saying you're just too quick, Flipping mate. In those little holes, eh? My he reckons you gave him a little bit of lip after as well, but a little bit of lip. Nah, yeah. none of that. He but... reckons he couldn't catch me if he could, if nah. he can. So just got lucky, man. Like you say, put yourself in the picture and you you can score a few tries. But no, nah, it's it's a you play you practice plenty of plays, and um, I was just happy to get those on. But like you know, you, you try a few 
plenty of times and you get belted. So <laughs> it was lucky to actually get through. And uh, yeah, I guess credit to Joey and Ellie because they sort of threw that pass and mm-hmm. it's not an easy pass to throw. So yeah, a couple, oh, couple tries. It was nice. Catch either too, but. Off the nudie run officially. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was going to claim my trial try, but it's good I can claim that yeah, officially you now. You don't need to anymore. <laughs> I'll claim the try, but uh, no, Husey as well. I thought you played outstanding. That first half, yeah, I don't reckon I've seen a better first half from in your career, really. So Spiders on him. Get yeah, the offloads that would have gone yeah, on the deck. Yeah, hey, Skip. Yeah, how was gave that? Gave me a couple of offloads. I wouldn't, didn't think it was coming from you, to be honest, <laughs> but usually you expect them from Welchie and that. But no, nah, it was good to get a couple. I just sort of. Went into the game sort of wanting to run a bit more and, um, you know, obviously started like that and then uh, the second half didn't really get much opportunity <laughs> so that uh, um, put a halt to it. But, yeah, no, it was pretty good. Obviously um, disappointed, got suspended. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, for one game. Took the early guilty pl- uh, yeah. plea for, yeah, I'm getting caught a grub. Um, everywhere from my own teammates as well. Um, <laughs> you did you hear that? <laughs> oh, shit. Um, oh. I've, seen, I've seen a comment from Chi saying they should throw the book at me. Um, <laughs> and then he messaged me saying, um, why aren't you fighting it, you cat? So, uh, but nah, took it. It's, you know, obviously it was um, an accident. I didn't mean to, mm-hmm. to push him, but, you know, I, I did um, accidentally push uh, Chris, Chris Butler in the back and, can't really do that these days. Can't touch a yeah. ref. So, um, so what was the process behind that? Because I, like, I think everyone thought, you know, like Rocco Berry's probably going to score the try there, and if you don't put yourself in that picture, yeah. like, what was it? Was there any talk of a defence, or was it just straight? Oh, I think it was just maybe more of the force that. I went, but I felt like I was, I had to run towards yeah, him. You already Chris was like sort of backing off towards me too, so we yeah. sort of collided and it made it ugly because he fell over. But um, yeah, you just can't do it these days, and I. I probably should have done what, because um, I think something happened in the Sharks game where I think it's Trindle, he got behind the ref and he sort of like, he didn't push him, but he was sort of like moving into him and he couldn't make a tackle on Kikau and then Kikau scored, but they took it off him. Oh, so I should have just done that yeah. and let Rocco score and then we probably would have got the ball back. So I didn't, yeah, yeah. I, I sort of, I was in, it's hard when you're in that game mentality and you're defending yeah. your line and we just made an error. So it was sort of like, and Rocco was coming pretty quick, so. Um, yeah, yeah it's just me. It was, yeah, <laughs> it, was me. it was a tough one, but yeah, like like I said, you can't, you got to protect the rest these days. And um, you know, if I went and fought it, I don't know if I would have won. So and um, how and how does that work though? Like, does obviously Frank or someone can't yeah. go? It's not worth it this week fighting, or yeah. is it you know? Like, we well, yeah, we have a look at it. Um, you know, Frank talked to a few different people in the club. Bowser was in there. Um, I think we talked to a lawyer. Frank talked to a few different people and got their opinions. Mm. Um, and it just probably thought it wasn't the right thing and you know obviously a lot in the media come out everyone saying yeah. it was pretty stupid to be suspended but yeah I, I know where the judiciary and the NRL are coming from got to protect the refs so I'll yeah. take the one game I would hate to fight it and then miss two games so I've already done that last year and I got done so <laughs> why next week anyway so I was yeah, say it would have been three weeks it would have been three so you can't take it a Q Cup like if they've named you in Q Cup nah, well, Q Cup's got the buy as well oh. everyone's got the buy but, that but Easter no, nah, I nah. don't think so. I don't know if you can just. No, nah, I don't think you can. It's do only that. international games and origins where you can yeah, take it, right? Where, oh. where you could actually properly play. Yeah. It, I'm pretty sure. Black so. and white now. You can't touch referee. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be watching. So, I'll be watching I'll it be, nice and clear. Yeah, so. Apologies, Chris. Yeah. On behalf of the clubhouse, Sorry, Chris. our grub mate. Apologies, Uzi. mate. It's just not good enough. You're doing purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lads. Time to move on to our sponsored segment, brought to you by Rick's Eyewear. It's the eye-catching moment of the week. But before we start. We've got a big briefcase mm. of Rick's sunglasses in here. Oh, the holy Which you can all see. Are they like the Rolexes mm. of Rick's? Yeah, it's the same case. Rolex Apparently this Rick's. case is worth thousands. Rollies. So. Any Rollies out there? Um, I'm going to pass it around. You're going to pick your mm. uh, sunnies for our eye-catching moment of the week. So, you, Uzi, first, Uzi? you can have the honours. Yeah, the honours doozy. Seen OBJ wearing some, mm. but I know that's... What Mun wants to wear, so I want to get these. I think I think these are the Storm ones, and you have to go Storm. I'm hoping they're the Storm ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think they're, gotta go. The, I think they're the Knights nice ones. Mate. Change and call them the Melbourne Storm. The Storm is. These are nice. Though. Well, actually, I might change my mind. They get better. I'll go the OBJs. I yeah, think these are the OBJs. Oh yeah. Are these OBJs? Orbits. Are they the Orbits? OBJ Orbits. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. No. yeah no, they're pretty silks. You gotta take your hat off. Oh, so <laughs> Can he pick it, baby? Can he pick it? <laughs> All right, what do we got here? 
This week, I got, well, I got red on. There's actually so much fire in there, it's actually hard to pick, to be honest. Mm. Um, there might not be many left after tonight. I might steal them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go these ones. Hey, I don't Tommy. know what they are. But, yeah, these ones are mine today. Oh! Yeah, they suit. Take the hat off. Are you going to get a haircut? Are you gonna... I can't get a haircut. I've been, I'm, I've been, I've been going all right. Yeah, you got to grow up. to keep, keep it going, out. bro. Put Maybe the, I might like braid or something. Put the lemon juice back to it, bro. <laughs> I got a color the other week by Zaskia. Did you? Yeah. Already dropped. Maybe it's just the beach water getting in the hair. It's starting mm. to make it a bit yellow. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'll like catch it. you moment of the week. No surprises this week, lads. Um, our man, Xavier Coates. Yeah. Unbelievable. Watch this clip about a thousand times. Yeah. So, uh, eye catching moment, not only here on the clubhouse, but uh, worldwide, I think. Yeah. I think it's sort 100%. of. Is Sports Centre top 10 worthy or what? Is it the best got to be. rugby league trial you've ever seen? I'd say yes. It's in the context, in yeah, the context of a game. Match winning try, easily the best. Like, I don't think there's been another one that's been that crazy. Um, but it's oh. got to be up there, best try ever. Like, that's – how long was he in the air for? Seriously. Can we time it? Let's get a timer. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get a clip up here. Yeah, we'll clip Let's it. all clip have a guess. I'm going we'll to say – I'm going to say, like, four seconds. <laughs> like legs in the air for he, he jumped really early bro well, so think so when you put a bomb so up when you run five, I've run five metres in about ten seconds <laughs> <laughs> crawling <laughs> no at the moment I'm running yeah, ten seconds yeah. um, I'm, I'm going to say 5.5 nah. think about it. when you put a bomb up it's like five seconds yeah so it's that's a long, a long time. time yeah yeah and you're saying four I'm thinking two I'm gonna but two seconds is a long time. I'm going to say 2.5 seconds, and that's a long time. Three on the dot for me. Doesn't sound like a long time, but being in the Here air go, for yeah. that long. Let's go timer. Timer. We're pretending Remus is just passing the ball. Yep. All right. Hang on. That's my, that's my calculator. All right. Ready? Tell me when he's passed it. Remus has just passed it to him now. He's running. He's got it. He's jumped now. 2.9. Nah, it was longer than that, I reckon. So we'll said, check it. We'll get yeah, it done. We'll, we'll get we'll a clip we'll up. That up. Clip it up. Check it. But we'll uh, get a timer next to it. Congrats, but. Dave. Uh, eye catchy moment of the week goes to you, mate. So yeah, I'm um, sure Rick's will see that. I've actually, see, I've actually seen a similar. Like yeah, we'll I've have actually to get seen a some, similar. Some not funnies. in the air, great try. But I've seen a finish like that from a Storm team against the Dragons in 2014. Yeah, on the siren. Yeah, eh? Young, Youngy scored with with Hoffy. Same corner. Same other corner, other corner, but it was Hoffy's grenade pass that took. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, it took as long as X in the air. Forward. I think it was forward. <laughs> so X took that long to get in there and put the ball down. That's how long that Hoffy yeah. took to pass the ball to Youngie, and it was in the air, and then he caught it and then put it down. Crazy game. Crazy Shout game. out X. Nice. Well, an X outstanding, mate. And for all our listeners, there is also a discount code: twenty percent off. All you have to do is type in Clubhouse. So make sure you get in there, get them quick, and yeah, grab the ones that we've got on because they're pretty slick. Get the orbits, um, baby. Me, everybody. OBJ. And big exciting game this week as well before our bye in Newcastle. Mm. Obviously, miss you both this week. It's uh, last man standing. So, yeah. It's going to have to head yeah, up to Newcastle on You Sunday. actually are the last man standing. <laughs> last man standing. You wouldn't, who would have thought that yeah, I would be the playing? The tables have turned. <laughs> How the tables have turned. I'm on for Sunday. So, uh, yeah, Newcastle Knights yeah. up in Newcastle. Mm. Sold Massive out. crowd again, Should sellout. Be, yeah, yeah or Sunday close Arvo. two or something. Yeah. Sunday Arvo, they love their footy up there. Uh, uh, down up there, sorry. They're zero and two, but yeah, they're pretty good footy side. And yeah. I think there's a lot of good teams that are zero and two at the moment. Yeah, so it's so like they're not going to stay on to like zero for long. No, nah. and I feel like they always play very well against us. I'm not too sure why, but I feel probably like because of the MO with Walshie probably. Yeah, probably from yeah. last year. But I, you know, Ed is a good coach and he'll, he'll get them fired up for this game. So yeah, well, their coach knows our system inside and out. Yeah. So it's, yeah. One of those ones where you gotta you gotta rock up. Yeah. Gotta rock up every week, but yeah. um same time Newcastle away, it's yeah. adds it's another a, dimension. A, yeah. so. Then they got us a beauty last year, so they did. Yeah. No, gonna miss you lads. Hopefully you got, he's back after the buy. You got Pez and Wishy in the house with you. Mm. Two exciting prospects. Mm. Pez is going back home. He's around that area. He'll be loving it. He'll be fired. He'll be, he'll be up, frothing ahead. He's had a be, desert bowl game, is yeah. it? Will be. He's uh, he's pretty much called it. I think he's <laughs> I haven't seen he's got hundred tickets he's asked for already. Ooh, yeah, mm. I reckon he confirmed the sellout. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he got the rest. I'll just get the rest. <laughs> I'll take the rest. Whatever's left. I think he's got a ticket day parade the next day. <laughs> day parade. I think they got him. I think he was sorted something out there the next day. Keys to the city. Yeah, yeah. I think he's but got a the keys. Pretty important game. Johns. Yeah, uh, it'd be good for us to get that win before. Um, you know, we got on our bye, so yeah. Um, no, nah, should be good. Can't wait to to watch from home. <laughs> yeah, you ain't watch come from up, jail. Hey? Nah, uh, I might Believe come up. 
Yeah, come Get on. some sleep. Get in the bay. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to be in that box, bro. Yeah, actually, yeah, two I'm, from two. I'm, I'm, no, I'm three, from three, three, three from three, Fiji. Three in the box. I know, you need me. I'm going to have to do the well, that's tackles. good for your... Your mental health being up there with um, Craig, but <laughs> it's good for the team. So yeah, morale, to I need to get the boys it. up. They'll be, they'll be down and out near the water. Actually, you can take a canoe with you where we stay. There's a beach there. You know what? I might do it. I'll, yeah, take, I'll, it. I'll take it for you. Oversize? If, if you take it, it'll look bad. But if yeah. I can take it, yeah. I'll look, look worse. Like, oh, it'll look yeah. worse. Fuck, <laughs> 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 must have coming on a free holiday for you. Yeah, yeah, I might yeah. hire it, you know. No, I'm actually flying back on the Sunday with the team, 10 a.m., so I can get back and kayak. Really? Yeah. Back here in Melbourne. So you're just a full safe kayaker. Here. Usually you'd go to Sydney. I'm a kayaker. I'm a gamer now. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know. I've lost the plot. You're just locked in. What you're if someone in. comes over and puts a hole in your kayak? Oh, oh, oh. he's death riding. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Well, you know where it's come from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. I stupidly brought it on the car the other day into training. I was like, something's going to happen, but... I guess no one probably knew it was mine. Mate, no. He drove, got to show you. can't see that. He drove all the way from Blackrock with his tray down. No, I didn't. Yeah. You well, did. He's not used I didn't. I drove he's, behind he's him used to having a ute. skiing into the Amy Park <laughs> and it's literally just laying flat like that. And he goes, oh, I didn't realise it was open. It, was open. it couldn't and have been open the whole way because nothing fell out. I reckon you've was got anything in the back there? Yeah, there was like um, stuff. beach chairs and like footies, oh, no, tennis yeah. ball. Someone stitched you up. Then. I was trying to figure out who it was and yeah. I looked over and I could see a big mullet hanging in the back. <laughs> no, I traded the. I put the ute back in so I could get roof racks on my new car. Yeah. So I'll get the Amarok back in a month and I'll have roof racks and I'll be a ute guy again. But for now, guy. yeah, trade guy. Just chilling. <laughs> um, all right, another segment of ours. This is a big one. Yeah. Big, big one this week. Um, is off the back of our game. We'll start of our game, really. Good Friday mm. appeal this week. And um, yeah, our clubhouse leader of the week this week goes to? Yeah, Emily. Emily. Um, we do a lot with the Good Friday appeal and... Um, you know, a few of the kids come out to, to training the other day and um, Emily's the face of the Good Friday Appeal and um, 10-year-old Emily come out to training, actually. Um, 40 she, degree it day. Was, it was really hot, but <laughs> yeah. just to see cool her, um, you know, happy, smiling, watch the whole session. Um, all the boys got around her after the game and uh, we had to do a photo shoot with her and I feel like the photographer was being a bit, trying to get her to do too much yeah. and Emily was just sort of like, Oh, like not really that keen, but she still went through yeah. with it and got some good um, photos. And yeah, she was just a soldier out there. She's um, obviously got a rare type of brain tumor. Um, obviously, not what you want when you're a young kid, but just to see her smiling out there and um, having a good time, it's inspiring to the boys. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we love doing, um, you know, connecting with the Good Friday appeal and um, getting the kids around training. And then just to have her and her family. Um, and a few kids rock up to the our game, and um, I know all the boys after our warm up when we um, were walking inside after our warm up, we went and said hello, and just to see her smiling, I think it just gave us a little inspiration to to go into that game. So um, yeah, a lot of those kids are you know doing it pretty tough, but just to see them smile and um, you know just you know they probably got a really tough life, but it just puts in perspective how good we got it, and you know it's obviously tough for a young kid to to have that sort of. Um, you know, have a tumor, brain tumor, yeah. and just to see them smiling all the time, it's it's, it's awesome to see. And it's really inspiring for us. So yeah, yeah. I met uh, I met her brothers, uh, brother and sister actually, Hannah and um, Lucas after after you boys were warming up, and um, they told me the crazy sport they play, underwater hockey. So underwater hockey, yeah, I don't know how the hell they play that. Um, but I have to have good lungs for it. Um, <laughs> I've been doing high boxing, can barely hold my breath for ten <laughs> for ten seconds, let alone let alone playing underwater hockey. So no, nah, kudos to the to the kids for playing that. I, don't, I can't really understand how they would be able to play it, but um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, no, very good. So Emily, clubhouse leader yeah. of the week, you're an absolute champion. We do appreciate it, and uh, yeah, like I said, inspired plenty of the boys out there. Me included, and on top of everything we sort of had going throughout the week, mm. um, forefront of our minds. So good on you, Emily. Thanks, um, Tim. Hope you're doing well, and we we love the support, and we'll be supporters of you forever now as well. So good on you, Em. Um, and Mun, obviously missed you as well this week, but um, can you give us a little update on how you're going, how you're tracking? I know it's frustrating. I'd, I sympathise with you. I know how tough it is, and uh, especially for you who loves playing footy. Um, yeah, I guess it. I can see it. I can see the frustration and I know how hard it would be. But, um, yeah, do you have any sort of gauge of where you're at at the moment? Um, oh, yeah, look, at, oh, thanks, perhaps. Uh, I think it's frustrating, but um, I, I've um, come into perspective and um, had a bit of a think about, like, I shouldn't be uh, whinging or kicking cans or feeling sorry for myself. Like, <laughs> I've only had, what, three or four weeks away from training. Or, and um, I know I haven't been able to get out of a jog, um, but... Um, 
I'm still obviously a chance to play this year, which is optimistic. Um, so I think for me, um, obviously the time frame. I, I ran on Saturday, ran pretty well, but then on Monday didn't run well at all. So a um, bit sore, but hopefully tomorrow um, I can get back on the horse and run like I did on Saturday and give myself a chance um, after the bye, which is the plan. Um, get a good, obviously, conditioning and um, load into my legs and, and my groins for the next week or so. Um, but, yeah, no, just on that, um, yeah, look, it's uh, – I haven't had the, the injuries like yourself or, or Welshy or, or blokes around the game to be out for the year. Um, I've just got, obviously, un- ongoing loading hips and um, groins, mate. So uh, if I can get through that, um, I'm sure I can um, help the boys out. But um, just at the end of the day – um, it's not that bad. I, I, there's a lot of worse things in life. Yeah, mm. oh, and some, it's all relative though. Like sometimes they're the more frustrating ones, you know, like with the long term, you sort of know you've got this period ahead. And mm. I think that's probably, I felt like your frustration when I come to the back end of my knee because like you think you're ready and then one day you're good, one day you're not. And yeah. it's one of those things where people ask you all the time how it is. And like, that's why I, I feel uncomfortable asking you because I know how it feels, but um, yeah, no, you'll be right. It's in the scheme of things. I I know it's probably hard for you right now, but we know we'd rather have you back at a hundred percent. And mm. um, you're gonna have weeks where you feel a hundred percent, but it's also like you got a big year ahead for yourself too, and it's only early. So that's yeah. that's my words of advice to you, man. Yeah, no, I you are missed, but at the same time, we'd rather have you back at a hundred percent. Yeah, and I think for me, this when people ask you how you going, like you like kind of want to give them the right <laughs> uh, like answer. Mm. You don't be like, oh, nah, man, I'm going for another two or three weeks. <laughs> you know, but like, I'm like, yeah, nah, it's gone good and that. And then the next day they ask you again, and I was like, oh, nah, like, oh, yeah, I'm going. I'll be right. Oh, you right to play? Oh, nah, I'm probably a couple weeks away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. this is like, yeah, it's just one of them things, it's man. Just, but it's never it's linear, eh? Like, nah. you're, you're a good one day. And especially like, you got the boys back at home, you're running around. It's like, mm. you got That's more. It's frustrating part. Know? I'm at home, it doesn't hurt. I run around home, but then I come to training and. Can't even, can't even get out of a jog. Yeah. That's so, right. No, we, right. we'll have you back soon when you're ready. Selfie. Yeah, all right. That's all good. Um, all right. That wraps us up, guys. Thank you for tuning in this week. Uh, like we said earlier, if you do want your comments read out on the podcast, if you want your questions answered, head to Spotify and comment that. Uh, and, yeah, we'll get Tommy to filter through them and send us one in. Um, and yeah on top of that guys follow Oz American Aces uh, really helps out those clicks those follows those listens uh, all goes a long way so thank you for the support thank you for the comments Um, we can't wait to bring you some more content in the next few weeks and yeah thanks for joining me tonight lads and uh, guess I'll see you in a couple weeks when we uh, hit the field again good luck on the weekend perhaps I'll be watching on TV brother thanks to everyone that has tuned into the Clubhouse podcast Please make sure you have hit the subscribe button on all our channels and also follow us on social media at Oz American Aces so that you don't miss out on any announcements. Catch you at the clubhouse. clubhouse. This episode is brought to you by Ricks. Eyewear that inspires confidence. Carefully crafted sunglasses, prescription and blue light eyewear that's made to last. Use the code CLUBHOUSE to get 20% off site-wide. Head over to rickseyewear.com.au and shop all available styles now.